Hi everyone and welcome to this Electronic Technocrat. In the previous video I told you about how to add the two 16-bit numbers using the Edsim 51 software and the microcontroller 8051. But in now in today's tutorial I'll be telling you about how to subtract the two 16-bit numbers and store their results. Basically, alright? So again we are gonna use the Microsoft or we can say the assembly programming here instead of using the C or the C++ or the Python code. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So the first statement is org 4 times 0 h which is used to initialize as I have told in the previous video as well. The first statement is move a comma has 62 h. Now the 62 h is the LSB of the first number. Alright, so we are copying the content of the LSB of the first number into the register A. Alright, so the next statement tells you that we are copying the number 96H into the register B. That is the LSB of the second number. Alright, so now we are instead of performing the addition operation, now we are going to perform the subtraction operation. So we are going to use a statement called as SUBB A comma B. Alright, so we're gonna subtract the LSB of both the numbers here. Alright, and the result is stored in the accumulator. Okay, so now from the accumulator, we're gonna transfer the addition or we can say the subtraction result into the R6 register as per the statement. And then this R6 register's contents are being stored in the 41H memory location. This will be crystal clear to you when I'll be doing the simulation just after this. Alright, so same thing is here. So move a comma has 27h, that is 27 is a number, 27h is the contents of the LSB of the first number. We will be moving into the accumulator or copying into the accumulator and in the second statement is 12h, we will be copying into the R0 register. The contents of the R0 register and the A are added basically here or we can say subtracted. So here we can have the A. So the contents of the A is being transferred into the R1 register here. That is accumulator is transferred into the R1 register and that R1 register's contents is being stored into the 40H memory location and then we terminate our program. So let's start our simulation without wasting any time. So here we go. We're going to type the code here. A fresh start. We're going to open EdSim51. That is version 1.19.31. And let's start it. So ORG 4 times 0 H. Move A comma hash 62 H. What is it doing? Perfect. The MSB is the 62H and we're going to be copying the contents of this MSB that is 62H into the register A. Okay, that is the accumulator. So next statement is move B comma hash 96H. The 96H is being copied into the register B. So SUBB A comma B that is subtracting the contents of A and B. All right. The next would be move R6, comma A. That means whatever will be the result of subtraction of this will be stored in the R6 register from the accumulator to the R6 register. Or we can say we have transferred the contents of the subtraction result from accumulator to the R6 register. That's perfect. So now move 41H, comma R6. What does this statement tells you? Okay, sorry. I'm going to write it in the next statement. So, uh, move 41H, comma, R6. Here we go. So, whatever is stored in the R6 will be transferred to the, or we can say we have storing it to the 41H memory location. All right. So, now it's time to move to the next one. So, it's has 27H. This is again the copying the contents of the LSB into the accumulator. Now instead of using B, we are using R0 here. We can use anything here to store the re result. If we copy the contents of the LSB into the R0, 
and now we are again subtracting those contents here we go and whatever will be the result of these two subtraction will be here will be perfect will be transferred to accumulator now from the accumulator it will be transferred to the R1 register all right and from the R1 register it will be transferred to the memory location for TH and initially or in the end we're gonna end the program so first of all what did I say you exactly so, so first of all save this program I'm gonna save this as subb here and save to check for any errors just press this assemble button we have no errors so our code is perfectly fine to run so first of all before we run I'm gonna tell you where all we can see the results here in the R6 we're gonna see the subtraction of these two numbers here the LSB numbers in the R1 we're gonna see the subtraction of these two LSB numbers all right and in this code memory area what we're gonna see is in the R6 memory location or we can say the R6 register that is R6 here we can see the answer of R's that is this subtraction of these two numbers whatever we give the answer it's gonna be seen in this R6 register and after that here the 27 and the 12 this will be seen in the R1 register here all right so and the memory location is 40H so 40H we will be able to see this kind of result of these two and to the 41H we will be able to see the contents of the R6 register all right so let's go run the program and let's see the answer and here we go so here we have the answers as I have uh, said you just a few seconds ago R6 has been storing the subtraction result of these two that is double C and also the subtraction result of these two is stored in R1 that's perfectly here that is 14 here we go the R6 here register is storing double C here basically and R1 is storing 14 that is the subtraction of these two and the memory location 40H is storing the contents of R1 register. R1 register contents is 14. So here we go. 40H is storing 14. And the memory location 41H is storing the contents of R6 register. That is double C in the 41st memory location. So that's what I want to tell you about by the simulation how we subtracted the two 16-bit numbers using AdSim software. That's all for today. Goodbye, folks, and see you soon.